Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use a very nice feature in PyTest and Unitest called Parameterized. So let's say you have a function called add numbers and let me add another function called uh, dasherize, which takes in a test that is a string and then it returns another test that is also a string, right? And what does it do? It's going to dasherize it in, in another way is going to replace for every part of the test that has a, a, a an underscore it's going to convert it to a dash right that is the function so that is what this function is doing now in case i want to write a test to test different combinations of it different parameters of it how will i do that so i'll go back here and then i'll go with test example dot pi and then let's write some test. So the test that I want to write is something like this. So I'm going to import it. So from example, import my add numbers and then my dash rise. Then let's say I have this test that I want to test, right? So for the dash rise, I have different parameters or different combinations I want to test, right? So I want to test if it is in the middle, if it is somewhere, somewhere, somewhere like this, right? something like this i want to see if i can still get it well something like this or you can just keep it like this i have different parameters that i want to test against so i would have done it like this right so i set different different examples and for the addition to i have maybe five different or four different combinations that i want to check i would have done it like this so in this case if i want to test it out i would have gone like python dash m pytest so in case you don't have pytest you can just go with my pytest pip install pytest right and in case you want to run it you just go with so it's it's finish declare so pytest right or python dash m pytest dash v so this is going to run the test and we have two tests passed, right? Perfect. So that is how we would have tested, but this is cumbersome. This is repetition. We are trying to write the same. We are trying to write different parameters to test the same function. So how will you make it simple? So the simplest way is that you can use a nice package called parameterized from PyTest. So I'm just going to go up and then let's import PyTest. And then how do you simplify it? So I'll copy this here and then we can simplify it by just going with this option so I can just quit my def test dash rise right and then i would pass in some parameters on top of it right so i just go with my decorator which is my so my pytest decorator mac dot parameterize this is parameterize i think this is a, a american spelling then this parameterize will take in some some argument so the argument is going to take is first it's going to take in your name right that is the string which it must be the input and then your expect, expectation or expected result and then the next one is going to be a list of your different parameters that you want to check off check on so this is going to be here or we can make it like this so it's going to be a list of tuples and these tuples is all the different parameters you want to check against right like so the one that we had here so we had we had a python package and then the expected was python underscore package and then we also try another one so we can just try different examples so i'll copy this one here and then we just try this too so this is let's say pi package right this is not the right way it's supposed to be here and here so the same thing we would have done at the top like with scikit lane copy scikit lane and I'll paste it here. 
so the input and then your expectation like what you expect it to be right so with this option you simplify the code instead of writing different assets asset to test the same function you have different parameters that you are testing this right and then you are just going to go back here and then you you pass inside this particular place your input and then your expected then you can now just go with asset dash rise my input is equal to my expected right so this input refers to this input which refers to this particular part of the parameter right and then the expected is this one which is passing here and you have to make sure that you don't do it like this right? if you do it like this it's going to fail it's supposed to be together as a string right with this separation with a comma and if i save it now i can go back here and now we can run it again we can run our function so python uh, python let's use commander yeah so i'll go back and i can write python dash m pytest dash v and now if we run it you see that it's apply the same test on the different parameter that we had right and you could see the name dash test dash rise python the name is going to combine them so that you actually know that it tested for three different parameters which is very cool and very useful so this can be a time saver right so that you don't need to write this but you just put the parameters on top of it perfect that is using pytest now let's see how to use unit tests for it right so the same thing could have been done in case we had the add for the add you could also then done the same thing let's see another alternative so the, the other alternative is using unit test so those, those that are found of unit test this is for unit test there's a package called parameterize this is the american the british spelling which comes with parameterize class right dot expand and then it comes with so parameterize class right so this one is used on top of the functions inside your class and this one is used on top of the class itself right so let's see how to use them so i'm just going to create my class based function so which is going to be import unit test then my class based function so we can call that test uh, dash arise then i'll pass in my unit test dot test case which takes in whatever test i wanted to do right so the same test i would have done which is def dot test dash arise two then i would have passed in my exam myself which will now have gone with myself dot asset equal then my function so dash arise then I would have passed in my parameters. So I would have passed in, let's say, let's pick Python package. You can use any name. You can also use add, the add functions. And then we would have given our result. So just this. Right? So this is how we would have done it, right? So in case you have multiple ones, so if I go back here and I rerun it here, then we have four tests and pass, right? But in case we want to use the parameterized option here, we will just go with on top of here. We create our, we have already imported it. So we're going to import. So from parameterized, import parameterized and then parameterized class. In case you don't have this package, you can install this package with pip install parameterized right this is the british spelling and the other one is the american spelling so so it's still the same but the spelling is some way okay then how do you use it so you can just go back here and then create your decorator which is my parameterized dot expand we are going to check the first one expand 
and this one takes in uh, your tuple, right? It's going to take in a list of tuples of whatever you want it to be. So for example, like we, all the examples that we used here, so I'm just going to copy this entire stuff. Then I'm going to put it inside my expand, right? So it takes in a list of tuples, just like we did about field parameterize, expand, and then a list of tuples, right? That is all you need. And then you, for here, you can now put in uh, whatever button. So let's say this is going to be the input and this is going to be the expected. You don't need to even define it then input and expected, right? So this is the input and this is the expected and that is all, that's all you need, right? So this, and if I run it again, hopefully it doesn't fail. So I'll go back here, let's clear off and let's run it. And now sys pass and you can see the difference. So dasherize two and it, you can see the result, right? So either you use PyTest with the Mac parameterized or you use uh, unit test parameterized package, right? So this is one of the ways you can use it. The other alternative is that you can also do it this way. This is method number two. Method two. So for the method two, sort of passing the parameterized class here on top of it, you don't pass it on top of this. You rather take it off here. So let's call this dasherize two. On top of the class, you put it there. And now this time it's not going to be expand. It's going to be class. Right, so parameterize the class so that it affects every part of the class, not a function. This is used in case you have different functions and you want to apply different parameters to it. But this is used if you have uh, multiple functions, but you want to ap apply the same set of parameters to it, right? So let's say I have this one here. And then now, the moment I do this, I have to specify my description. So this is going to be input and then expected, right? It can be any name, it can be A or B, perfect. And once you define this in this way, you can now call this option here. You can just go without this because now it is on top of the entire class. And now you can just go with my self dot input, which is referring to this here. And then self dot expected, which is referring to this here. And because of that, you can also apply it on different, different functions. So I can also have another function. Let's say I have another function here which is now going to be, let's say test dash rise length, something like that. And now it's going to be the same thing. So uh, we can, we can just do a set count. Yeah, set count equal. What is the difference between a set equals and a set equal? If you know, let me know in the conversation below. So something like this, you can also do something like this, right? So, and this will be, length I have no idea and then the length let's see if it's going to work this is not the best way but just, just to give you an example of it now let's run it so you said as nine pass three field and then the one that filled is because of this right we are trying to do this so let's go with this yeah so now we can go with this Now everything passed, right? So now we, with the parameterized class, you're applying the same set of parameters on the entire class. So every function or every unit test within our entire class will be using the same parameters. That is the difference, right? So you specify the names here and you can use it anywhere you want to use it, right? Like this. And then there is also the parameterized expand, which is applied on the function within the class. Then there is also mark parameterize from PyTest. So that's something I wanted to share with you. I hope you have learned something. So thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next session. And then back to our question, the difference between a set equal and a set equals is 
the equals the one with the s is deprecated right it's for the old packages but they're still working so they just kept the two there thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed bye